Okay, hi guys, I have a review. Um, I got more figures from Curson Miniatures. I ordered uh, more for my Safavids and they finally came in. Um, well, it wasn't that long, only like about a week, uh, a few days really waiting, but um, uh, less than a week. Anyway, I uh, got, uh, so I got three units. Uh, I got a pack of 12 of the Gulams. Um, so they're musketeers, and I got a, another camel, uh, camel artillery, uh, group, which I, I've shown, I, I have one already I painted, uh, before, so that's what it looks like, uh, painted if you're newer to the channel. Um, and then I got a pack of these, uh, Safavid. Uh, on the website, it's like Safavid uh, peasant levies or, or camp followers. So uh, I got I got a pack of twelve of these guys. Uh, also, um, actually, wait, how many? It's not twelve. We have we have uh, ten. Okay, so it's uh, it's ten. So anyway, that's what I uh, that's what I got. Um, and. Uh, I have, um, so the Gulams were the Safavid uh, answer to the Janissaries, although they were not around as long, uh, but uh, they were used fairly effectively by Shah Abbas against the Ottomans and some of the other enemies of Iran in the 17th century. Uh, they look really nice, uh, nice and crisp, um, like... I've come to expect with Coruscant. Um A few of the guys have a little bit of flash here and there, and, and or the the uh, the base needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But other than that, I mean, you know, it's just little things that need to be shaved off or clipped off before painting, uh, which is good. And you get um, with the Gulams, I got basically like a bunch of firing poses and a bunch of poses like readying their, readying the muskets, so, um, let's see, one disadvantage to, uh, 15 millimeters, you end up seeing more of my fingers than the figures, but, yeah, those are the, those are the miniatures for the Gulams, uh, they were, the historical Gulams were mostly ethnically Georgian and Armenian, actually, quite interesting. And the Safavid court was uh, eventually became heavily influenced by uh, by Georgian families that that sort of um, became part of the court, which is why I think uh, later on Kurasan also makes some Georgian and Circassian figures. So I think I'll I'll buy some of those to ha represent like a Georgian um, contingent uh, auxiliary contingent for the Safavids. Um, and the next, uh, set of figures is the artillery group. Um, these guys need a, this guy needs a little bit more cleanup, but you get, uh, the assistant gunner, you get the main gunner with the match, and then you get the two cannons themselves, and then you get two camels. Um, I have them based, uh, based up, you know, as a, as a group of two uh so i think i'll just do that again with these guys because i can fit both both camels on this uh 40 millimeter uh, base and and uh, i got a lot of i've got plenty of those so i can make a little little camel battery uh, of, of, of four and then lastly we've got the the camp followers um now this is a pack of 10 and, and I normally have been basing the infantry uh, like three to a base with these with these uh, Litco bases. So I think I might do, I think I'll have to do like uh, maybe four, if I can squeeze four of those guys onto one base um, or something. Not sure yet. Anyway, I'll figure that out. Um, but uh, as for the figures themselves, um, they look uh, they look pretty good. Um, 
you know, not not too much flash like on the like on the Gulam, uh, and you get uh, a couple, you know, a few different poses. You get some guys like, well, one guy uh, attacking, and um, get uh, a bunch at the ready or you know about to attack type thing, and then you've got. Uh, this guy who looks like, I guess he's supposed to be a uh, standard bearer or something because he doesn't have, because this is just like a staff, it's not like a uh, an actual spear. Um, so. Yeah, so um, I don't want this to go on too much longer. Uh, they look pretty good uh, and they're sort of proportional with the other Kurasan models, so, um, you know, the Gulam, for example, is about, it's, you know, same size as the Janissary. The Janissary just looks slightly bigger because of his, taller because of his hat, so, but, uh, yeah, that's what I've got. I uh, hope you, uh, like this. I'm, I'm a big fan of Kurasan, especially for their, you know, more, uh, obscure, let's say, uh, ranges, which is all the stuff I'm into. Um, so, um, but if you're looking for one of war game Safavids, which is always, which is really interesting, I, I recommend you look into it. Or if you just want, uh, just want to look at the other historic stuff they have, they've got plenty, plenty of great, uh, ranges, uh, and uh, yeah, I'll keep going to keep working on this project of Ottomans and Safavids, um, and and of course have the uh, the Polish Commonwealth. I'm hoping I can I can do another showcase soon uh, with more uh, more of my uh, Eastern uh, armies. Um, I'm hoping I can get through enough of the Safavids to do like a little army showcase. Uh, but uh, anyway, I uh, hope you liked it, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.